who would leave the key all the way up at a, at a very bizarre location like that? Anyway, let's see what we got. Oh, there's some more enemies out here. Yeah, it doesn't look like this place is lagging much, which is good. Okay, if we head down over here, we got an HP+. Plus. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, we're good. Come here, come here. Okay, these are poisonous pokies. Well, poison pokies to be more exact. These are the stronger variations of pokies uh, from chapter three. Um, pokies have eight HP, uh, four attack power, so definitely strong. Uh, and they have slam, body slam, pull, which is a which is a move that summons another poison pokey. And if um, you knock out all their body parts, then and it's just the head, then they'll use something called a bonk, which does the same amount of damage as um, as a slam. Um, the best way to deal with these guys is use coops to knock out their body parts. Uh, and if you have spike shield, then you can then you can use spike shield to uh, defeat to uh, defeat these guys. Uh, well, you can use spike shield to jump on them. So pretty cool. Uh, oh, and they're poisonous as well. So yeah, I guess I forgot to mention that. What's this? A block that's already been uh, hit? Oh my goodness, a Thunder Rage. Uh, guess I can get rid of the Dried Shroom because I have no need for it at all. Uh, sure, why not? Alright, cool. A Thunder Rage could be useful. Ooh, thank you for the nice shine sprite. Oh my goodness! Yeah, Counter makes all these fights or pokies look pretty easy because uh, um, you're countering their body back, and the body does four damage. So you're pretty much countering four damage to them. So that's uh, so super guarding a, a, a um, pokey is really really good and very effective. Definitely take advantage of it. Okay, this part is really laggy, but uh, what you want to do here is you want to. Go ahead and blow off all of these sheets of paper. Oh man, I can see the lag uh, uh, coming in right now. Man, that's bad. Oh, I attack a new enemy. Yep, I knew it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come here. 
Okay, good. All right. And the next new enemy is a spiky parabuzzy. Uh, spiky parab. Oh wow, that's lame. Uh, spiky parabuzzies are they are pretty much uh, parabuzzies with um, uh, spikes on them. So it, they're really hard to take out because. One, they're flying in these, so you can't hammer them, and they have spikes on them as well. So it definitely makes... Ugh. So it definitely makes uh, getting, rid of, uh, getting rid of these guys really, really difficult. As long as you, but as long as you have spike shield, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Uh, and just like every other species of, of buzzy beetles, uh, these guys have... Uh, these guys are immune to fire. So any so any fire attacks won't won't affect them at all. Yeah, just like that. Well, actually, that might be because that's not that might be more because of the defense that, than the um, uh, the fact that I can't burn them. Because like you can definitely damage these guys, but you just won't inflict burn. Ugh, that's a shame. Okay, so this part... Uh... How to go about this. This is a maze. If you want to get all the items, then you have to take a trip. You have to take multiple trips around this, around this area. Oh, yes! No! 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 Oh, I can save that, thank goodness. Oh my god, I did that first try. Alright, so you get pow uh, power up down and defense- or you get power up up and defense down. Which is exactly what, what it means. And there's a lot of enemies here. I will deal with those guys later. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a different path here. Ugh! Wait, I, I can actually try this again? This game is giving me another chance? No way. Uh, rolling uphill while as a tube is really hard. Alright, let's see what happens if we go up here. I still end up in the same place, okay. I swear there's another item here. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and check one more time. Wait, no, no, I don't. Okay. Okay, why don't we go left? Okay, so I end up up here, and we got a dried shroom. Might as well use it up all I can. Man, Mario's gonna be all powerful by the end of this Let's Play, I bet.
Okay, so those were four pretty simple battles, even though I got wrecked on some of them. Huh! Okay. I'm just gonna go this way. So I can end up here on this side. Because this way is really where we want to go. I don't think there's any other way up here. Yeah, it looks like the key that we're looking for is up there, but how do we go about with it? Let's keep going. Hey, it's a Goomba. What's a Goomba doing here? So, as you can see, it turns out that we had to destroy those Goombas. It's amazing that the game, well, it's kind of ironic how the game just gives you a bunch of tough enemies well, as you're making your way here, and then all of a sudden you have to defeat some simple enemies. Uh, by the way, I never mentioned the info for Spike Tops, since apparently I did not remember that you could, uh, that I'd never encountered Spike Tops anywhere, but, um, Spike Tops are what the para the spiky parabuzzies turn into as soon as you, um, um, get rid of their wings. And they're pretty much just, uh, buzzy beetles, uh, without, uh, with just with a spike on it. So, 5 HP, 3 attack power, 4 defense point, and shell toss. Anyway, this puzzle is really easy. Just uh, count all the numbers there, and uh, then some stairs up here. Voila! We have a shine spray, and I went the, the, the long way around on the menu. I'm a scrub. I wonder why this is here. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing useful uh, past that side. <laughs> oh, and what's this? I can't go back. How unfortunate. But we get Ultra Boots! It's Toadette again! Nice to see you! And with Ultra Jumps, or with Ultra Boots, we can, uh, we have more attack power, and we have a new technique that comes with it! This is a Spring Jump! So if you're familiar with Super Paper Mario, where Lu uh, Luigi has this move, you go really high! And you can also grab these bars up here, well, the pipes as, as Toadette calls it, and you can move them around, move around areas. Which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, uh, you don't move. You don't get to move in midair while you're spring jumping, which is really, really dumb. I'm glad they actually. I'm glad they fixed that in Super Paper Mario, where you can do that with Luigi, because uh, that makes things really easy. That makes things so much easier, uh, like that. All right. So now, uh, oops. Oh yeah, and you don't want to do that at all. Alright, so these uh, black stuff indicates where you need a super jump, or spring jump, and it's called an ultra jump. And I can demonstrate what that is in battle, but I never use it in battle, so um, I don't know exact the exact timing uh, for it to use it. Oh, wrong button. Make your way over here, and so now we're through here, and a bunk underneath that, and that is how we get our key. And if you want to make your way out of here, just simply do this, and we're done. 
Oh, wait, this takes us all the way out back over here? Oh, oh, right, okay, that's why. All right. all right, so we have to go out here the long way. I don't think there's a shortcut around this, so we might as well do, so we might as well just make our way out of here. <laughs> to show off all this backtracking, I guess, in case you guys don't know where to go after, oh, in case you don't know where to go back. It's not like it's that easy to get lost here. Because this place is pretty straightforward. So far all the puzzles in this game have been pretty straightforward, but I don't know, they don't get they don't get anywhere easier at, um, at, uh, from this point. So I guess this game is just giving you like a, a helping hand just for a little bit until we get to some of the more harder parts, I guess. This chapter is definitely like probably the easiest chapter in the game in my opinion. That's definitely not the reason why it's my favorite. All right, so now we can go. So now we can go inside the elevator. And see what we got. What the heck are these things? I think these weirdos flip the switch. All right, let's get them. So all we have to do is just hammer these guys away. They're running away! They're spreading apart! Oh, these guys are pushing me. I don't appreciate that. Are they coming back? Oh, never mind. Alright, we did it. Yeah, take that, suckers. Okay, so that didn't activate the bridge, but what about the switch? And it looks like the drawbridge is going down. Wow. We did it. It's kind of creepy with this place having no music, though. Like, there needs to be some kind of music that goes along with this place. Wait, before I forget about this, I want to I wanna grab this. This match could be useful. Close call for your partner. All right, looks like everybody's back on the tr is back on board. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because I'm gonna get healed up anyway. Oh, I'm stupid. All right, have a good trip. All right, very well then. We're the last guy to come back inside, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's go! That's not exactly how you how you're supposed to say it, but I like saying it that way. That's what happens when something good happens. Thank you for riding the the excess the excess express. Our next stop is our last Posley Heights. Very well then. And since that's the last thing that that there is for us to do, we might as well just we might as well uh, sleep in, right? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right. Well, in any case, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and next time we are going to. Um, make our way to Pasha Heights on the next day. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.